Ever watch a real estate walkthrough where the camera glides through a room, slows just long enough to take in the details, then accelerates seamlessly to the next space? Well, that's the power of a speed ramp. And yes, you can do it right inside of iMovie. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create smooth, cinematic speed ramps that make your footage look polished and professional. Perfect for real estate videos, travel edits, or any project where you want to make it a little more dynamic. No complex editing or keyframe animation required. Let's jump in. All right, so here we are in iMovie, and I have this clip on the timeline. It's stock footage of a real estate walkthrough from Envato Elements. I'll play it back so you can see what's going on. All right, I think you get the idea. All right, what we're going to do is speed up the parts of this clip where we're traveling from space to space. So we'll play normal speed, then speed up through this hallway until we get to this sitting area and so on. This is known as speed ramping, and it's a popular effect, particularly with real estate walkthroughs like this. But you can use speed ramping for any action video where you want to make it a little more dynamic. All right, I'm going to scrub through the clip until I find the spot where I want my first speed ramp to start. I think I'll start it here just as we pass the door on the right here. All right, now that I've found the starting point, I'm going to place my cursor on the clip at that spot, then press and hold the R key on my keyboard, and then click and drag along the clip until I reach the spot where I want my speed ramp to end. I'll drag along until I get to this set of table and chairs. Then I'll release the mouse and release the R key. Dragging while pressing the R key created a selection or range on the clip. That's this yellow box. So with that range of the clip selected, I'll go up to the toolbar above the viewer and select the speed tool. That's this speed dial thing here. And that reveals some speed controls. Now, if I go over to the speed setting over here, you can see right now, speed is set to normal. But if I select this menu, I get some other choices. I can go slow, fast, there's freeze frame, which is a different effect, or I can choose a custom speed factor. I want to speed up the selected range, so I'll select fast. And a whole bunch of stuff just happened. The speed setting changed to fast, and to the right, I have four different choices for how much I want to speed up the selected range in the timeline. The default is two times speed. Now, if we look at the clip in the timeline, you may have noticed that it contracted. That's because we sped up part of the clip, which shortens the duration of the clip. This little rabbit icon appeared over the selected range, which tells me the selected range's speed is faster than normal. We'll get to this little film strip icon in a moment. You'll also notice there's this dark line sitting at the top of the clip along with these little circles. This is the speed editor. By clicking and dragging on these circular handles, you can manually adjust the speed of clips, or in our case, clip segments. Because you see, by selecting that range in the middle of the clip and then activating the speed effect, we split the clip into three speed zones, essentially. Now you can get rid of the speed editor on the top of the clip by right-clicking on the clip and from the menu selecting Hide Speed Editor, or you can use the keyboard shortcut command, Command-R. Hitting Command-R again brings up the speed editor, so it's a toggle. All right, let's play back what we've got. All right, so the clip started off normal speed. Then when it hit the selected range, it ramped up to two times speed. Then at the end of the range, it transitioned back to normal speed. Great. But I want to speed up the selected range even more. I want to go faster. So I'll select the rabbit icon in the selected range to select the speed controls for that segment. Then I'll go back up to the speed controls above the viewer and from the speed menu, I'll select custom. And in the field that appears, I'll enter 1000% and hit enter, which is 10 times speed. All right, let's play back now. All right, I like that more.
All right, so let's say I want to adjust where the speed ramp starts and or stops. Well, that's where these little film strip icons come in. By clicking and dragging on them, I can adjust the starting and or ending point of the speed ramp after the fact. All right, I like the speed ramp in that section of the clip, but I'm not restricted to one speed ramp per clip. I can make another speed change in this same clip without having to split the clip into two. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make another speed ramp in this clip. I'll scrub ahead. And I'm going to make another speed ramp here. So I'll start the speed ramp just as the camera passes through this threshold. So I'll hold down the R key on my keyboard and click and drag from that spot all the way down until the camera just enters the kitchen. All right, and there's my selected range for the speed ramp. So with that range highlighted, I'll go back up and select the speed controls at the top of the viewer. Then back over to the speed menu. I'll select custom again and enter 1000% for 10 times speed Hit return. All right, I'll play back that section. Nice. Now there's one setting I want to draw your attention to, and that's this smooth setting in the speed controls. So right now it's checked. And if we play back that section again, you see that there's a smooth transition from normal speed to 10 times speed. That's what this smooth setting controls. If I uncheck smooth and play back that speed ramp again, you see the transition from normal speed to 10 times speed is much more abrupt, which can work in some situations depending on how dramatic you want your speed ramp to be. I'll leave the smooth setting checked and play back the entire clip from the beginning. And that's how you create a cinematic speed ramp right inside of iMovie. Pretty straightforward. It's one of those little techniques that instantly makes your videos feel professional, especially if you shoot real estate or any other kind of visual walkthrough. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe. And of course, check out my other Mac Video Magic tutorials for more iMovie tricks that bring your footage to life. I have a ton of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.